can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, sure, what's up? The supervisor's not letting me book my holidays. Oh, come on in. Let me be the first to congratulate you on choosing to become a job steward. A rewarding and important rank amongst your co-workers. As a job steward, you will undertake a number of roles. Organizer, mentor, leader, and communicator. You will be expected to be honest, hardworking, fair, and knowledgeable co-worker, the first person a fellow member can come to with a concern. In this video, we are going to discuss how to identify if it is a grievance or complaint, deal respectfully with an upset employee, and learn the three stages of the grievance procedure. A job steward is often faced with a concerned or even upset employee coming to them with an issue. So tell me, what's going on? I need to book my vacation for the summer, but our supervisor has implemented this new policy. She's only letting us book one week at a time. You must first identify if the problem is a grievance or complaint. Remember, when dealing with an upset employee, be sympathetic and listen to everything they have to say. Don't make any judgments until you've heard the entire story and give your full attention. A grievance can be easily identified if it meets one or more of the following. Breaks the collective agreement. Violates federal or provincial law. Violates basic human rights through discrimination or unjust treatment. And or does not follow past practice. This refers to a practice that has been recognized and accepted by the parties and used several times in the past. If you are unsure if a situation is past practice, consult your union representative. If you answered yes to one or more of those concerns, it is considered a grievance. If you cannot, it is a complaint. A complaint still merits your attention. The last thing anyone wants is unresolved conflict in the workplace. For help on dealing with complaints, refer to your steward's manual or your local union representative. When a member comes to you with a concern and you have deemed it a grievance, it is important to follow these steps. Informal stage. Encourage the member and the supervisor to resolve the conflict without intervention. Okay, so how many weeks are you trying to book? I'm entitled to three weeks, but I'm only allowed to book one week at a time. Oh, well that definitely goes against the collective agreement and past practice, so you do have grounds for a grievance. But have you tried talking to your supervisor about this? I wanted to check with you first. Fair enough. Why don't you go and talk to her and keep me posted? If the informal stage is unsuccessful, then the steward becomes involved. Meet with the member, listen carefully, and take notes. Ask the six W's. Who was involved? What happened? When did this incident occur? Where did the grievance occur? Were there witnesses? And what would be an appropriate remedy? I did as you told me, but she's still not going to give me my three weeks. Okay, well, let's start stage one then. Okay. Who was involved? Just me and the supervisor, but really, this involves all of us. All right, so what actually happened? I have three weeks vacation because of my seniority, so I get to choose my vacation time first, but the supervisor is limiting everybody to booking one week at a time. So now there's no chance of me getting my three weeks this summer. And when did this happen? Mm, she announced this two days ago in the office. Okay, well then that answers my next question. Uh, where did it happen? And uh, were there any witnesses? No, I suppose that wouldn't apply here. Um, so what do you think would be the most appropriate remedy? I think I should get my three weeks vacation. No, all right, I think I've got enough information here. Let's go talk to your supervisor. Okay. 
through honest judgment, hard work, and effective communication, it is hopeful the steward will be able to solve the issue at this stage. Thanks for meeting with us. Um, I do have a bit of a concern. I understand that you've decided to implement a new policy for booking vacation time. Well, we feel that if everyone books only one week off at a time, then the workload when they return will be less. If they book two, three weeks, then we have to look into getting a temporary replacement and that costs money. The collective agreement was agreed to by both the employee and the employer. I understand you're trying to save money, but you agreed to these terms. Sorry, but this is what we're going with. Even though the steward had tried their best, sometimes the conflict may continue beyond the involvement stage. The supervisor, in this case, has truly believed that their conclusion to the matter was just and there is no reason to change the decision. The situation now requires a union representative from the COPE 378 office to meet with the steward and the member and to discuss the concerns with the supervisor and their department manager. With goodwill from both sides and a desire to solve the concerning situation, the grievance should be resolved at this stage. We understand what you're trying to do, but this is the contract that you agreed to. This employee is entitled to three weeks off in a row if they so choose. Yes, that's what we've done in the past. However, we've had a hard time filling in those positions while the employees are away. Three weeks is just too long of a period to have your work put off. Not one week. One week you can still catch up from uh, when you come back from your holiday. She's still getting her three weeks. It's just that this way works better for the company. Well, there is a procedure to change the collective agreement, but this is an issue that needs to be negotiated at the bargaining table. It appears that the grievance is resolved. However, if neither party can agree in stage two, move on to the final stage, stage three. Stage three will require a meeting with the labor relations team and the union representative to come to a conclusion on the contractual infraction. The steward and the member may or may not be involved at this point, but it is important that the union rep has the steward's well-organized notes from earlier in the process to best help the member in question. Let's review. A member comes to you with a concern. Determine if it is a grievance or complaint. Informal stage. Encourage the member to seek out an agreement with the supervisor. If that fails, move on to stage one. Ask the six W's and remember to take notes. Meet with the supervisor and try to work things out. Stage two gets the department manager and your union rep involved. If unable to come to an agreement, move to stage three. You may not be involved at this point, but your detailed notes will be beneficial. This may seem like a lot to remember, but using your job steward handbook and knowing your COPE 378 office is there to support you, you will find this an interesting and rewarding job. Good luck and thank you for taking on this important role. <laughs>